One of the things people always ask me about Comic-Con is how expensive it is and is it cheaper than online and how much it costs for different sorts of things. So this video is going to be a walk around the show so you can see how much things are. The next Comic-Con is coming up on the 26th to 28th of October. That's at XL in London. It's every May and every October. I'm going to be there every day with my stall Cakes with Faces. Here's where I'll be in the North Hall behind the Pop Asia section. Now Comic-Con is really huge and it can be difficult to find things. Every time there's always someone who says they couldn't find my stall. So I'll be putting this floor plan on Facebook and Twitter. I'm Cakes with Faces on both of them. So come and say hello and tell me you saw my video and I'll have some new stuff at the show. I'll have my new kawaii Hawaiian kawaiian dresses, my new hedgehog stars which have been really popular so far in the pre-order and my new Winosaurs t-shirts vintage 150 million years BC. And everything you can see on my stall is my own original design. You can see them all on cakeswithfaces.co.uk. And if you're new to Cakes With Faces, I also make videos about Japan. I make travel vlogs and tips to help you plan your trip. And they're all on my channel. So let's go back in time, back to last May when I took a walk around Comic Con to show you how much things cost. And I'm sorry I couldn't film more for you. When I'm there, I'm always busy running the stalls, so I can't always film as much as I really want to, but I hope it helps. A lot of stores do take cards now because you can get the little card readers. <laughs> These ones. <laughs> um, but not all of them, so it is worth bringing cash with you. There are some cash machines, but the queues get really, really long and it's just a waste of your time to be standing in the queue for an hour. Or <laughs> Hopefully, they're not that. because you're at an exhibition centre and they always do put the prices up because you're a captive audience here and they know people are going to get hungry. There's lots of places to eat along the centre concourse of XL and there's also Japanese food stalls which are also pretty expensive but I think if you're going to buy food you might as well go for them and have something different that you might not normally be able to get or if you want to save money just bring food with you instead.
go through a lot of different countries. They've got three, four, 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 two, all the languages. more at the show because it does cost a lot to be here and some have lower prices at the show there isn't really a general rule on my stall the prices are slightly lower or the same as online because I think as you guys are paid to get in you should get a special treat and have some special prices at the show so my t-shirts online are 16 pounds and here they're 15 pounds and there's also a special offer of 2 for 25 so it's worth shopping around and finding the best prices and which store you want to buy from. If you're buying clothes, check what their policy is on returns in case you get the wrong size or you want to swap them. If you're buying something like figures, check the name of the store and get their details to make sure they're a reputable company, to make sure the merchandise is genuine and officially licensed. on a Sunday and at the end of the day all the stores will be slashing their prices but maybe some stores do that but I haven't really seen it that much. Most of these stores will be going on to do lots of different cons and events or they might have online shops so they're not really that interested in getting rid of everything at the end of the show but if you do want a bargain it kind of hurt to ask but don't push it if they say no. Comic Village are about under £10. You can get um, prints, comics, badges for just a few pounds each. And a lot of these people do commissions for really quite cheap prices as well when you consider the work they put into them. Some of the larger prints cost a bit more but it's pretty good value. And of course the special thing about the Comic Village is you can meet the artist who's done the drawing which is really something special. lots of retro games. They're not particularly cheap but you can have a look at them before you buy them. In general I'd say Comic Con isn't really a place to go for cheap things but it is a place to go for lots of things that you wouldn't normally be able to buy in the shops so you can pick them up and have a look at them before you buy them.
hope you found that useful and again sorry I couldn't film more for you. If it's your first time at Comic Con you can see a bit more of what it's like in my other videos which are all on my channel and I'll be back with new Japan videos every Thursday. So I'll see you there. Bye bye!